This data set contains the health insurance premiums for 36 people who were in their late 20s in 2014. Using five classes, construct a frequency distribution table that includes the class midpoints and the relative frequency. To make five classes for the frequency distribution table, first, find the lowest number in the data set, which is 114, and then find the highest number in the data set, which is 286. Then subtract the highest number by the lowest number to get the range, which is 286 minus 114 equals 172. Now, take the range and divide it by the number of classes that we want. In this case, the range is 172 and we want five classes. So, 172 divided by 5 is 34.4. Always round this answer to the next integer. So the answer is 35. We will use this number as the class width. To make the five classes, start with the lowest number. In this case, the lowest number is 114. Subtract the lowest number by 0.5. The answer is 113.5. This is our first class lower boundary. Add the lower boundary by the class width, which is 35. So 113.5 plus 35 equals 148.5. This is our first class upper boundary. To recap, our first class begins at 113.5 and goes up to 148.5, where the class width is 35. For the second class, the lower boundary begins where the first class ended. So, in this case, the lower boundary for the second class is 148.5. Add the lower boundary by the class width, which is 35. So, 148.5 plus 35 equals 183.5. This is our second class upper boundary. To recap, our second class begins at 148.5 and goes up to 183.5, where the class width is 35. For the third class, the lower boundary begins where the second class ended. So in this case, the lower boundary for the third class is 183.5. Add the lower boundary by the class width, which is 35. So 183.5 plus 35 equals 218.5. This is our third class upper boundary. To recap, our third class begins at 183.5 and goes up to 218.5, where the class width is 35. To calculate a class midpoint, simply add up the lower boundary and the upper boundary and then divide the answer by 2. So for the first class, 113.5 plus 148.5 equals 262. Divide the answer by 2, so the first class midpoint is 131. And for the second class, 148.5 plus 183.5 equals 332. Divide the answer by 2, so the second class midpoint is 166. Now, count how many data points fall into each class. For the first class, count any data point that falls between 113.5 and 148.5. So the frequency for the first class is 10. And for the second class, count any data point that falls between 148.5 and 183.5. 
So, the frequency for the second class is 13. Now, add up the frequency from each class, and the total should be 36 people. From the frequency distribution table, we can see that there were 9 people in the late 20s who paid between $184 and $219 for the health insurance premiums. Likewise, there was one person who paid between $254 and $289. To calculate the relative frequency for each class, simply take the frequency for each class and divide it by the total frequency. So, for the first class, going from 113.5 to 148.5, the relative frequency is 10 divided by 36 equals 0 0.28. And for the second class, going from 148.5 to 183.5, the relative frequency is 13 divided by 36 equals 0 0.36. Add up the relative frequency from each class and the total should be 1, or very close to 1 due to rounding errors from each step. From the relative frequency distribution table, we can see that 25% of the people in the late 20s paid between $184 and $219 for the health insurance premiums in 2014. Likewise, 3% of the people paid between $254 and $289.